Okay, take two, because uh, the uh, internet wasn't up to it then. Um, good morning, happy Monday. It's much cooler today, so um, I'm back in business. Thursday was just way too hot. Um, I couldn't find anywhere cool enough in or around the bungalow to broadcast from. So, God, I look quite tired today, actually. Could do with some makeup on. Um, not actually, I've just been uh, doing a lot of painting and stuff, so... Um, I think there might be some paint in my hair somewhere, but it's job to tell against the grey now. Hi, Jean. Good morning. Nice to see you. Um, giving up on the hair now, but it's uh, next Monday that it gets its revamp. So it's going to get worse as the week goes on because I've been instructed to wash it now from now on in fairy liquid to try and strip um, as much colour and product out as possible. So um, I'm going to be the fairy liquid in bring them on camera what am i saying bring them on camera right i've got jane and pauline and it's saying bring them on camera i'm going to press this on i'll press it on you jane and we'll see if it does anything because i haven't had that come up before um bring them on camera I can wave back at people, right? So I'm ticking a few waved. This is new. Oh. Right. Um, it's letting me wave. Bring them on camera. Morning, teen. Not done it on you. Not that I press that. Mm. Right, it's saying bring them on camera, but then it's not letting it so i'm gonna have to investigate that if anyone knows how that works then uh, do let me know um that's a, a new thing um right okay so yes the hair i've just given up on it totally now it's going to be washed in fairy liquid between now and next monday so next monday morning's class it will look probably horrendous but then monday afternoon it's getting its revamp so that's fantastic um yeah, anyone has any special requests for anything they'd like to do, um, either in this class as we go on or next Monday, anything you want to work on, then uh, drop me a line, pop a comment up, and we'll make sure we fit it in. Mavis has now moved in. She was on the chair, so I thought I'd get away with it. And as soon as I sit down and start talking, she's ready for the class. Morning, Margaret. Oh, you're with us today. Mm, you usually do it day late, don't you? Hope you had a good birthday. I think that was last week, wasn't it? Um, might be the week before. I've, I've lost all track of times or days. So, um, yeah, in a minute we'll do our warm-up. Hope everyone's well. Um, any new aches or pains I should know about, then let me know. Um, yeah, we're uh, cracking on here. Still got plenty of work going on. Um, if anyone is passing, you're welcome to uh, uh, hang about, see if I'm about, and uh, we can have a, a chat at a metre plus now. Um, what else have we got? It was last week. Yes, I hope you had a lovely birthday, Margaret. Lots of June birthdays. It's a great month to have a birthday in. Brilliant, actually. I like being a, a June birthday because it's uh, perfectly spaced out from Christmas. So, uh, yeah, I always feel a bit sorry for people who have their birthdays too close to Christmas because it's a, it's a bit of a rubbish time then, I think. Um, so, oh, a bit of a stretch. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do our warm up. Um, Andy's about this morning, so hopefully if anyone turns up, he can deal with that. And yeah, hope you're all good and uh, feeling positive things are starting to get a little bit more um, back to some kind of normal um, but yeah I'm uh, hoping to see see Tina in a couple of weeks so that'll be fantastic and uh, try and get a bit of routine back because uh, that seems to have gone uh, totally out the window um, I have to say doing these classes has, has helped a lot. Right, Angie, it's saying bring them on camera too for you. It's not doing it on everyone. I can do a wave. And I don't know, I've no idea what this shows up as your end. If I'm pressing wave. Bring them on camera. 
No idea at all. Right. Okay, let's get going. Spin around. Standing up. We are going to try not to stand on the cat. Oh, as Annie said, Annie's saying something. Hope to see you sometime this year. Yes, hope, fingers crossed, Annie, you can come down and uh, inspect the new work premises. Right, feet facing forwards, about hip bone distance apart. And we're just going to start by moving the head from right. To left, from right, to left, from right, to left. Then dropping the chin down, just going to circle through one side, back through the centre, to the other side. Going gently stretching that neck. One more each way. And then bringing the head back to centre, we're going to just stay facing forwards, keeping the head still and just moving the eyes to look up. And when you look up, look up as far as you can. Then look down, right past the nose all the way over to the right and then all the way over to the left so you're going up down right and left really moving those eyeballs around all the way over and back in the center we're going to punch the shoulders up to the ears and then let them drop Bring them right up and let them drop. Right up with the shoulders again, let them drop. Now we're going to slowly bring the shoulders up and forwards and then roll them back down. So we're doing a circular motion with those shoulders up and forwards, down and back. Trying to get as much movement as possible. Now we'll try the other way around. So we're going to come up through the back to the front and down. Rolling the shoulders around. Drop them down. Then we're going to lift one shoulder up to the ear. Let it go. Other one up. Let it go. Each side. Shoulder to ear. One more each side. Give the arms a wiggle and take the whole arm circling forwards and around. Really trying to get some movement in the shoulders today. Taking the arm back and over. Remember, only work to 70% effort, so never take this to extremes. Changing arms, coming forwards and around. Anything hurts, then stop. Have a breather, adjust what you're doing, taking the arm back. You're working with what your body will allow. Then hands are coming into the front of the shoulders, so on the brass strap area. And we're going to circle the elbow forwards and around. So the elbow is now leading the way. And then taking it back. I've got lots of birds running around out here. So if I get distracted, it's, uh, something's caught my eye. Everything's fledged now. It's a very active change in arms forwards and around. Leading with the elbow. And then take that arm back. Okay, dropping the arms to the side. We're going to swing them around the torso. So you're going to bring the hand up to touch the front of those shoulders. 
quite a good whack into the shoulder if you can manage it. And then we're going to do a couple of stretches. So we're going to stretch the sides long, reaching up with one hand and pushing down with the other, stretching through both sides of the body. Trying to avoid the light fittings, looking at that long arm. And then changing sides. So it's a big reach up and a push down, lengthen both sides of the body. Make yourself a little bit taller. One more to each side, reaching up to the sky, pushing down to the ground. And last one to this side, reach up and a stretch down. Drop the arms and stretch across the chest. So pointing one arm out long and then pulling back across your front the bow and arrow looking down that long arm and dropping the arms, changing sides, stretching across the chest. And then we drop the arms, link the fingers in front, turning the hands to face away from us. Getting the arms as straight as you can and lift, lift them now to wherever you can comfortably get to. So don't come up too high if you can't keep the arms straight. Come to wherever you can get. If you can, bring them overhead, but make sure you're not throwing the body back. So we're keeping a nice straight position with the torso, stretching up through those arms. And then elbows coming out as the backs of the hands drop your head, face or chest wherever you can reach. So really linking those fingers and as you pull the elbows out you're pulling quite hard on the hands. One more stretching up and reaching down. Now we're going to take the arms forwards, soft elbows, soft wrists and just circle around with soft hands Moving at the wrist. Circling them one way. Try and get the wrists moving a little bit. And then circling them back the other way. Make your two strong fists. Okay, so we've got the knuckles facing up, the wrists nice and straight now. So I'll just turn my arm try and keep in the wrist in line so you're not throwing the hand back or forwards and then stretch those fingers out as wide as you can and try, again try and make sure you're not dropping the wrist or pulling it up so it's a flat wrist for fingers out back into fists and then a big stretch out to all those fingers try and get as much space as you can between them all and like I said before, imagine I'm pulling on the end of each finger, trying to pull them away from you to get length into those digits. Back into fists. And a big stretch out of the fingers. Okay, turn one hand, palm up. Gently pull back on the fingers. Stretch out the inner wrist. And hold that for a couple of breaths. And the same to the other arm, so palm up and a gentle pull back on the finger. So you straighten the arm if you can. If you need to, bring the arm slightly lower. But if you can, get it up straight, coming out from the shoulder. Whatever's most comfortable. Dropping the arms. Now, if you've got a ball, you can use a ball for this. If not, just grab a cushion. Oh, maybe this is me. It's not a hairy coo cushion. And what we're going to do now is um, mimicking the um, carrying the moon. We do. So soft at the elbows, soft at the hands. You're holding that cushion in front of you. And this is um, 
when we do carry in the move, we're bringing our arms up like this. Now what we're going to do now is just pass the cushion around the torso. So with the arms soft and relaxed, we're going to let go with one hand, take the cushion behind us, bring the hand back. Now your arms are slightly straightened now. So just holding that cushion off your bum behind you and then taking it around the body. So we're taking it around one way. Passing the cushion round, keeping the body nice and straight and neutral. And then we're going to send it around the other way. So pushing that cushion around. So again, if you've got a ball, you can do this with an inflatable ball. But everyone's got a cushion. And you probably find it's when the arms are back, you'll feel the stretch more. We don't tend to put our arms back behind us. And although it's the arms moving, it's all that movement in the shoulder. So you'll notice where you're tight, where it needs a bit more stretching maybe, where one side's better than the other. Right, we'll go a little bit faster now, so we're gonna change direction and we're gonna start passing the cushion around. Forward, back, forward, back, forward, back, forward, back. Then we change direction, going faster around, other way. Okay, you don't need to grip too hard, just enough to hang on to the cushion. And it doesn't matter if you drop it. And we'll go back the first way. Just moving the shoulders. and change direction. Okay, lose the cushion. Coming down to the waist, I'm gonna circle that waist around. Circling the hips one way, and then back the other way. Keeping the feet facing forwards, all points of the feet stuck to the ground. So we're getting the ankles to move. And then down to the knees. So give those knees a good rub. Take your feet a little bit wider if you need to. Rub in and around the knee joint. Try and encourage the blood into our knees. And then fingers on the knees. Or a bit further up the leg if you need to. We're going to look over to the right back through the centre to the left, centre to the right, centre to the left. Now you might well feel this at the back of the legs into the hamstrings, depending on what you've been doing and where your body's tight. And then back to the centre. So keep the head straight, don't look up because you don't need to see what I'm doing. You know how to do this now. Fingertips on the knees, if your knees allow it, we're going to circle both knees going in. Feet are still glued to the floor. And then circle those knees back out. And straighten him back up. And take one foot slightly forwards and just lift and lower the toes. Gently stretching out through the calf. Then turning the foot to the side, lift and lower. Stepping back forward with the other foot, gently stretching out the calf muscles, lifting and lowering. 
and then turning the leg to the side, lift and lower. Feet back to facing forwards. We're going to heel tap to the front, opposite hand to opposite foot, tapping at the heel. One side, tapping forwards, not leaning the body forwards. So reach, doesn't matter if you've got a good gap between your hand and heel, wherever that leg will come up to. And then taking the foot behind, tap the heel behind. Again, try not to lean the body back as you do this. It'll, uh, it won't help, it'll just make you wobble more. Okay, feet facing forwards. We march through the feet, so we're gonna march on our toe, toe, heel, heel, out, out, in, in. 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 And that's our warm up. Just look here, I don't think you can see my feet too well there. All right, if I'm back here. Right, I'm going to just tip the screen a tiny bit. Hopefully, it won't fall over. Hi, Debbie Webb. Hi, Lynn. Oh, hi, other Angela. Hi, Claire. I don't know what this waving business is. Let's uh, just, I'll, I'll t oh, right, I'm going to click on a few waves. So, hopefully, I'm waving back at you. Guest requests. Oh, right, okay. Allow your viewers to request to join you as a guest in your broadcast. Right. I'm going to switch that on. I don't know what's going to happen. Um, add, add. Add. Whether this will work a bit like Zoom or not, I don't know. All right, I managed to wave in. Um, let's go back to Jane Tob. See if that works. Bring Jane on camera. They'll receive an invitation to join you. Can't. All right. Um, see, I think it might have worked on you, Pauline. I'm going to keep adding where it's letting me. Uh, I've no idea whether you've got to do something your end or not. But you might be able to pop up and uh, show me what you're up to. I don't know. I really don't know. It's gone green for a lot of people. So, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um, okay. Right. Music. Bit of music. Make sure you've got your um, water handy because it's still quite warm. Nearly turning the fan. There we go. And if you have been doing the toes with me, um, that's even worse, isn't it? You can't get my toes at all. That's better. You can see the feet. Yeah, if you've been doing the, uh, uh, lifting the big toes up and then lifting the other toes up, don't do what I did last night, which is where it's used bare feet to operate the little pedal bin in the bathroom. And my big toe was on the pedal, and my other toes was underneath it. And uh, that brought on some colourful language. So, um, yeah, my toes have got a bit too flexible, I think. Uh, a little green. <laughs> I, I apologise for this. I don't understand, but enjoying the touch. It. Yeah, it's not happening on yours, team, so don't worry about it. You don't need to understand. A little green tick appeared, and I clicked it. So some people are clicking it. Bring them on camera. Uh, yeah, I, I really, really 
don't know. I've got guest requests. So I've allowed it. We've added and we've added it, but I don't know how it pops up. No, no idea. Right, okay. Time for Shibashi. Who's that? Tina. Yeah, don't worry about it, team. It's all good. Okay, feet facing forwards. So we're starting Wuji. Nice, soft, relaxed hands. Take a moment to calm ourselves down. Stop being so excited by Facebook's new features. Okay, check through the body. Make sure you've got equal weight through both feet. The knees are softened. The pelvis is very slightly tipping back. So we're trying to get the spine into a neutral position. Think about that spine with the head balanced nicely on the top. Chin is relaxed, so you're not tipping the head forward and you're not throwing it back either. Make sure you relax all through the jaw, you're not clenching your teeth at all. Breathing in and out through the nose if you can, if not, in through the nose, out through the mouth. Picture that golden thread, giving a little bit of extra height through the spine. Try and relax at the shoulders. Make sure you're not gripping with buttocks. Relax the arms, open arms, palms of the hands facing the side of the thighs, arms slightly out from the body, shoulders relaxing down. And as you're breathing in this position, ready to start, make sure you're not holding any tension at all, especially through the hands and the thumbs. Close your eyes if it helps you just to think out, relaxing. Slowing the breathing down. And we're going to step out to commence. So stepping out to at least shoulder width apart, making sure those feet are staying faced forwards. So breathe in, bringing the arms up. And breathe out. Breathing in, straightening up through the legs. And breathing out. So we're going to go back to basics a little bit today. Breathing in. As you bring these hands up, they're slightly further away from the body, coming up to the height of your face. And then the hands turn as you breathe it out. Elbows pulling the arms down a little bit closer. So we're making this rugby ball shape in front of us. Breathing in. If you like, you can imagine you've got two balloons under each hand. So gently forcing the hands up. Release those balloons, and then as you breathe out, the slow descent. Breathing in, straightening up through the legs on the in breath, and then slightly sinking through those knees on that out breath. Slow it down and break down the knees. Breathing in. And out. Okay, let's move one, move two, broadening one's chest. Breathing in, arms coming up exactly the same. When they get to shoulder height, they're coming out to the sides. And then breathing out as they come back down. So there's lots of things to remember here. Hands are coming up soft and relaxed. And then as you bring the arms out, you're not throwing them right back. They're staying in your peripheral vision here. 
and then the heels of the hands are leading towards as you breathe out to come back down. So we have a straighten up through the legs on the in breath. And then our slight sink down on the out breath. Breathing in. So it's really important on this one, you're not throwing the chest forward as you bring the arms out. Breathing out. So that pad of flesh between your shoulder blades. Staying beautifully smooth and flat, you're not wrinkling it up by throwing the arms back too far. Right. And we're trying to get a good five seconds at least on the in breath and on the out. Do one more, breathing in. So don't stick your thumbs in the air. Leading back with the bottom of the hands inside of the wrists. Okay, move three, breathing in, coming up. We're gonna shift the weight to one leg because it's dancing with rainbows. And breathing out. Shifting that weight from one leg to the other, breathing in and out. You straighten up through the center and then sink to the other side. Breathing in. This top hand has come to just above the crown of the front of the head. Breathing out. Not quite touching, breathing in, but close enough you should be able to feel the energy and the warmth, you'll be aware that that hand is there, and breathing in, so open hand, you're turning your head towards it and it's palm up as if you've got an open book you're about to read from. Head is just turning from left to right. It's not looking up, it's not looking back, it's not with the head. The eyes are following the active hand for as long as they can. So the eyes are looking at the hand and then the head turns to look at the other one. Breathing in. And out. Dancing with rainbows, breathing in and making sure you've got nice relaxed arms and relaxed hands. Fingers open, slightly curved. You should feel your legs really working as well as the upper arms. Then coming back to centre, we're going to drop the arms down, sink slightly into the legs, palms up, we're going to breathe in, crossing at the wrist, and turn the hands as we bring them down to breathe out. Surfing arms, breathing in, and out. So when you cross at the wrist, the wrists don't touch, it's almost touching. And out. So again, we're looking at relaxing through the hands. I'm trying to slow this down now. We've all been doing this long enough. You should be able to get slow, fluid movements. Breathing in, straightening up through the legs, turning the hands, breathing out. Head staying still. 
looking forward very slightly down. So trying to get that five second breath so as you breathe in and out. change to the next move hands are coming to the waist knees are soft palms up we're going to turn around i'm turning to my left dropping the hands down reaching forward with the right arm back with the left on that in breath it's coming up and over ear level on the out breath we sink at the knees cross the hands over breathing in turning to the side Straightening up a little bit through the leg and breathing out with a gentle sink, we cross the hands to reach away. So all the twisting is coming from the waist, feet are staying facing forwards, flat to the ground. Breathing in and So remember it's 70% effort, so if you're struggling to bring the arm up and over, then keep that movement smaller. And if you really need to, shoulder won't let you do anything, just bring that arm back, turn the palm over, push it forwards. So keep the circle small, or just drop the arm turn the hands and bring it forwards. You might find one side of the body is quite comfortable and the other one's a struggle. It's really working the shoulders and the waist. And only twist as far as you can. one more each side, just dropping the arm, breathing in, coming up and over, out, twisting waist, swinging arm, and dropping the hands to the sides, backs of the hands, facing back, rowing a boat, so we're going to breathe in, bringing the arms up, and then breathe out, we lower those hands in front. So it's the backs of the hands facing back as they come up and around, palms facing forwards, and then as you breathe out, the palms are facing to the ground. Now remember to keep the arms soft so you're not having straight arms, they're still soft at the elbow. Breathing out. Straightening up through the legs as you breathe in. And then a little descent, that start of a squat, the pelvis going very slightly back on the out breath. Breathing in. And out. Rowing a boat. Keeping those hands and wrists relaxed. Make sure you don't lift the heels up for this one. It's very tempting to rise up onto your toes. Breathing in. And I've changed to holding a ball. So I'm going with right hand and right foot. I'm going to lift the right heel, bringing the right hand with palm up across the body. Come right up onto the ball joints of that foot. Turning the hands, breathe out, back through centre and sinking at the knees. So lifting the heel, palms coming up, 
breathing in and out. Hand returns to the side of the body, the hand open and relax and breathe in. Now, if you can bring your weight off both heels, the standing leg is only coming up a little way. If you're asking it a lot of work, breathe out. Head's turning from left to right. Eyes are following that active hand. So I'm looking at the palm. So I'm looking at the back of the hand. So breathe out, lower and back down through the centre. Head's staying straight, but eyes are still on the back of that hand and then focusing on the moving hand. Breathing in, out. Turn to the side, holding the ball, breathe out. Make sure the pelvis is still slightly tipped back. Breathing in, both heels up if you can manage it, and breathing out. Raising up, all the way up on the balance leg, breathing out. And a little way up on that standing leg. If you can't manage both heels, don't worry about it at all. Keep the heel down on that standing leg. Breathing in. Now to come back to centre, just carrying the moon, so you imagine you've got that cushion there again, keeping the heels down, we're going to breathe in, so turn to the side, and then breathe out, back through centre, breathing in, and out. So the legs are straightening as we go to the side. And then slightly sinking on the out breath again through the centre. Breathing in, top arms coming out right angle to the body. Right. Bottom hand, palms coming up to face the armpit. Right. Breathing in. Eyes are looking either towards that top hand or glancing back under the armpit. And the rotations come in from the waist. Breathing in. Out. So I'll carry the move along. I'm going to take an in breath. Straighten up through the legs now because we're not moving up and down from this one. Carry on turning and we're going to breathe out as we push the heel and hand away. Breathing in, coming back to centre. Breathing out. Twist waist, push palm. Now remember, arms coming out from the shoulder. And it's not going fully extended. So we're not twisting the arm across the body. Body's turning. Arms just coming in and out from the shoulder. And how far you turn will depend on how much movement and flexibility you've got in those ankles, in the knees, in the hips, and in the waist. So remember, don't force it. Pushing the hand away on that out breath. Breathing in. Out. We're going to turn that hand now, palm to face us, bringing it in slightly. Breathing in, playing with cloud. 
change and over and the gap between your breaths to breathe out to come back round. It's slightly soft at the knees. Try and tuck that pelvis back a tiny bit, breathing in. Keeping the forearm as straight as possible, so only bring it up to wherever your shoulder allows. If you can, try and get it to your nose. Breathing in. And out. Playing with clouds. So the top hand is a little bit further out from the body than the bottom hand. Breathing in. And if you struggle with remembering this, just think about that top elbow leading the way. That top arm, top elbow is the direction we're going. Make sure you haven't done anything strange with the thumbs. Breathing out. Do one more each way. Breathing in. Eyes focusing on the palm of that top hand. And breathing out. We're going to drop the arms, whichever way you're facing now. Drop the arms down and turn that leg about half a foot forward and then pointing out to the side. Standing legs still facing forward. We're going to rock through the feet as we scoop the C. So we're going to breathe in as we go forward, crossing the hands over the back heel and breathe out as we drop that heel down, raise the front toes. Breathing in. And out. Now reach forward and low to wherever you're comfortable. So you don't have to go too far forward. The same with back. So if you want to, you're reaching out over that knee. And then as you come back, you can raise your eyes skyward and go into slight back extension. Breathing in. Remember, you're not throwing the head back, you're just looking with those eyes. The head at all times is staying nicely balanced. And make sure as you lift the front toes, you're not locking that knee out. Do one more. Breathing in, heel coming up. Breathing out, toes coming up. Then as the arms come down, step that foot back, changing feet. Bring the same to the other side. Scoop and see, reaching up to the sky. Breathing in. And out. Now if you're not going back so far, keep the head facing over that knee and just looking forwards and slightly down. Going to wherever is comfortable for you. So don't up, breathing in and out. Again, you're crossing at the wrist, your wrists aren't touching. Very close. 70% effort. Staying this side, we're going into playing with waves, so it's heels of the hands. Pushing away and then breathing in, so pulling those fingers back. Breathing out. And in. Now, if you're not bending the torso at all, breathing in and out. Looks like you're travelling a long way. 
think of what we're doing with the arms and the legs. So if you try to keep the main part of the trunk of your body in a nice upright, neutral position. In. Working those legs. Hands coming back to the centre. We're going to change sides again. So you step back. Make sure that leg's facing forwards now. Turning the other one. Breathing out. And in. Playing with waves. So you're keeping those elbows soft. And it's the shoulder joints and the wrists that are doing all the movement here. Breathing out. And in. Try not to speed up too much on this one. Okay, we stay this side. Have a quick look. Make sure that foot's facing forwards. I'm going to push the heels of the hands away. Turn the palms to face us. Breathe in as the arms come back, spreading wings. Breathing out, going forwards. In, coming back. So again, like building one's chest at the beginning, make sure you're not throwing the arms back too far. You're keeping the hands in the peripheral vision. That fleshy part between the shoulder blades. So staying nice and smooth. As the arms come forwards, they're going to shoulder width apart. Breathing in. Out. And make sure your thumbs aren't doing anything silly. As you breathe in, take the arms out and wide back to centre. Before I change, if you're not sure how far shoulder width apart is, just bring your arms out in front. You should be able to get an idea. What we see a lot of is the hands coming in this close. You don't do that. You keep them at least shoulder width apart. So we change sides, spreading wings, breathing in. Ah. Try and keep that movement flowing. Right. Make sure your thumbs aren't uh, decided to point skyward. Relax through the hands. Last one. And then as you breathe in, coming back to centre, face both feet now forward, slightly soften the knees, punching. We're making fists with the fingernails up, elbows coming into the side of the body. And it's good strong forearms for this. We're going to breathe out as we turn the hands, punch away. Breathing in. Arms coming out at shoulder height if your shoulders allow it. And 
as you send that arm away, keep the elbows soft. So we're not fully extending, but it's a good, strong fist. Breathing out. you need to keep the arm lower. Do one more each side, punching away. Drop those hands to the side, release the fingers, give them a little wiggle. Little fingers to the front side of the thigh. We're going to fly like a wild goose, so breathing in, arms coming up, you're coming up onto your toes. And as you breathe out, slowly lower back down, returning the hands, slightly sinking at the knees, make sure that pelvis is tipping back. Breathing in. And out, gently lowering down. So we're breathing in for five, two, three, four, five, and out, two, three, four, five. Breathe in. Arms should be totally free and flowing, no tension at all. Breathing in and out. Legs are doing all the work on this one. Breathing in and coming up to wherever you can comfortably get to. So don't come too high. Breathing in. Try and control that descent. And right, keep the heels down now. We're going to circle arms like a spinning wheel. So you know the different versions of this. I'll start with the easier one. So both hands together, slightly facing each other. Sorry, not together. Palms facing each other, open hands, slightly out from the body. Soft at the elbows, breathing in. Both arms coming up and around. And then breathing out. So breathing in from nine o'clock to three o'clock. And breathing out. If you're doing this version, try and keep the head fairly central and facing forwards. If you're doing the full version, slight back extension through midday and then twist it at the waist. Breathing in. And out. Change direction at the bottom. So we're going to breathe in. And out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Keeping those palms facing each other. Got back to the smaller move for the last couple. Breathing in. Right, if 
ignoring the DPC band reverse then we're going into bank symbol which uh, gets called lots of funny things by some of my students when you do the bouncy ball bit opposite hand to foot give those arms a shake so you can do a heel raise grouping in and lowering the hip opposite hand to foot lowering that heel if you're happy with that bring the knee up into a knee lift breathing in and out. Now remember that invisible thread, you're attaching it knee to the wrist, so they're moving in conjunction with each other. And if you're happy with that, when you get to knee up, lift and lower on that standing leg. Like the DPT driver's just getting mobbed by chickens. It's kind of distracted me a little bit. Right, where are we? In breath, raise and lower. Out breath. In breath. So whichever version you're doing. Out. Torso straight, out breath, head nicely balanced, in breath, let that foot dangle, out breath, one more each side. Stepping back, feet facing forwards, soften those knees, we're going to push palms, breathing in, out, so press palms as we move now, breathing in, hands coming up, out, straightening up, on that in breath and then pushing the hands down slightly sinking on the out breath breathing in we're back to that rugby ball shape again so as you breathe out your hands are slightly closer to the body as you breathe in they're a little bit further away Take this time to get that breathing slowed down after all the exertion. Make sure you're not holding any tension through the thumbs. Breathing in, bringing all that energy up and then breathing out, slowly pushing back down. Do one more to finish. Breathing in. We've run over a little bit today, breathing out. Okay, feet are coming back, so hip bone distance apart. Straighten the legs, but keep the knees soft so you're not locking them back. Left hand, we're going to do left hand and right hand onto the lower tummy. Just relax into Wuji. You could have brought your hands up and down in prayer position to help center you if you want. Close the eyes and just check through the body. We've got equal weight through both feet. We've not got the weight to the back or front of the feet. It's equal spread through both of them. Soft knees, you're not gripping with the buttocks. The pelvis is tipped slightly back. Thumbs are nice and relaxed. Shoulders are relaxed and down. Jaws relaxed, heads nicely balanced. Golden threads taking you up a tiny bit taller. And as you breathe out, start that breath from the pelvic floor through all the waist muscles as you squeeze every bit of air out from the bottom up to 
the lungs. And as you breathe in, let everything go. Breathe out. Breathe in, feeling the stomach expand. One more breath in and out. Drop the hands to the side. Thank you, everyone. Well done. Thanks for joining in. We didn't disturb Mavis too much today. Right, give those hands a good rub wake you up before you uh, get on with the rest of your day. We've got all that lovely energy now, which we are going to dry wash into our face, because this is the bit that keeps us young. And we need a lot of this in and around the back of the neck, behind the ears, and then into the scalp. Get those fingers in, give a good old rummage. In your hair, if you're lucky enough to have hair, not sure if we've got any chaps with us today or not, might be later, get into there. And then we're going to tap down the outside of both arms, nice firm tap up the insides. And then take feet a little bit wider if you need to, coming down the outside of both legs, reaching down as far as the ankles if you can, up the insides, tapity tapity tap, and then wiping both arms, wiping away. Outside arms, then inside arms, outside legs down the buttocks, all down the outside of the legs. And then from the inner thighs, all the way down. And you're good, you're done. I'll grab my water, see what we've got on the comments. Oh, hello Paul. I don't know if you caught it earlier, Paul, but I'd be on fairy liquid washing for this week now. I'm seeing you on Monday and I've just totally given up on it. Um, interrupted by my hairdresser. Mm, when are you booked in for then, Margaret? Are you going to go drastic? Have a big change. Go for something, go for something really funky. Thank you, Jane. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, do, 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 do. What else have we got? Dave. Hello, Dave. All right, I'll do me waves because that seems to work. Wave. Wave. Well, I think it partly works. All right, Pauline. What's Pauline saying? Good morning, Sharon. Thanks so much. Lovely session. Good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So, if anyone's got any special requests for next Monday, which will be uh, the last shocking hair one, hopefully. Um, oh, not until the end of July. Oh, you'll be all right. Thank you, I needed that, getting a bit lazy. Yes, um, I know what you mean, Lynn. It's very easy to uh, to sort of veg out a bit, um, especially when with the rain we've been having, it, it puts you off going outside. And I did, uh, I actually made a pina colada last night because I just really fancied it. And uh, that was blooming lovely, actually. I did, um, I did make a kind of double, double pina, pina colada. Sounds like I've been drinking it now. Um, so that, because I thought I'm only going to make it once, so I will it go on instead and sat supping that um, through my uh, cardboard straw. Very eco-friendly here. Thanks, Ange. Hope you enjoyed it too. Um, yeah, so, yeah, any requests for next Monday, then pop me a message. Um, either text or Facebook or on the page, anything you particularly want to go over, anything you like that I've done that I might not have come back to, any of the different exercises I put in. Uh, perhaps you want to practice a bit more of the balance stuff. Um, perhaps you want to do the the rolling uh, rolling forward bend thingy. Um, yeah, or the standing on one leg, the little red rooster one, anything like that. We uh, will make sure we do it. Back has been playing up this morning's helps. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. If, as long as you, if you've got aches and pains, if you don't overdo it, it will help. Um, because it, you, because you're straightening yourself up, you get more space in here. So, um, 
definitely especially the uh, dancing with rainbows although it doesn't seem like it that turn of the body is really good for working on the back strength uh, but to be honest that all of the exercises are encompassing so many things uh, thank you Sharon I never got around to catching you last Thursday uh, yeah what we didn't do last Thursday Claire so if you tried to catch you would see because it was too hot it was just too hot can't do it as slow as you yeah well I think you could Claire because I know with all your singing you have an excellent set of lungs so you should have no problem with breathing and breathing slow so it's getting the body to move slow so just keep trying keep trying it the more you do it the easier it gets to go slowly um remember for me it's not always easy to actually get the breathing bang on when i'm trying to talk as well um but if you can just alexa play some tai chi music and practice some of the moves um then that will come a lot slower um, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to stick it to about five seconds in and out for teaching, but you're aiming for about eight seconds in, eight seconds out, which I'm sure you could do if you weren't moving. So keep practicing that and it will come. Remember, they reckon it takes about 20 years to learn how to do this properly. So, uh, so we've all got a lot to learn. I'm learning every time I practice. Angie's never too hot. No, I know you're never too hot. And you've been loving it, haven't you? I mean, I just, I... Oh, which it was Thursday that was the super hot day that was too hot for me anything that makes the back of my knees sweat weather wise I don't like um, so yeah that Wednesday was lovely and Friday was nice can do the breathing yeah I know you can do the breathing so you just gotta gotta just try I don't know I can't imagine you're self-conscious with it so it is really just probably relaxing the rest of the body um yeah you keep at it i can't wait to see you actually so that we can see you doing this see how far you've come on because obviously um um it's the same with everyone to be honest it, it'd be it'd be great to actually see people practicing and, and 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 you know see the improvements because you won't notice it you don't notice it each time um, but if I haven't seen you moving for quite a while, I can think, hang on a minute, look at that, they're getting a bit good now. So yeah, um, see Ange Tatlock has been having a, a, a look here. I know you've had trouble with your legs and feet and I've been doing your Tai Chi. For those of you who don't know, Ange does um, Tai Chi as you'd imagine it. So the proper form moves, not this Shibashi set. This is proper, but she does... Uh, much more movement um and uh, uh this this could be really good for you to get back so yeah just watch what's happening with those legs but it'll help strengthen it up if it's too any of them for Ange tatlock i gotta say this because there's two Anges in the class at the moment um if you need to sit down drop to a seated position and carry on with the moves um Bye bye, see you Wednesday. Yeah, you're off to work, aren't you, team? Yay, bye bye, team. Um, see you Wednesday. That's on Zoom, so we Zoom on Wednesdays. But um, I will see her the following week. Um, and you never know, we might have her on video if I can talk her into it. Right, I'm going to go now. Um, it's getting near lunchtime. So have a lovely week, everyone. Um, be prepared for shopping here next Monday. Can you see? Oh, it's it's, it's uh, hopefully as I have a, I've managed to resist the dying. My lovely stylist Paul will be able to uh, sort this out next Monday afternoon. So yes, right, I'm off. Um, Mavis is uh, there. She there she is. That's her position for the day now. So I know everyone's more interested in Mavis than me at the time. And um, yeah. Oh, calves. Then I'll just put a wave. If anyone works out what this bring them on camera business is, then yeah, let me know. You turned my Alexa on with Tai Chi course, did I? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that is funny. 
Oh, you'll have to do it now, and you see what it is. Right. Bye bye from me. Bye bye from Mavis. And um, all being well, I'll be back on Thursday evening. So, any special requests, let me know. Thanks for joining in. Bye.